Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my press conference. If everybody could sit down and shut the fuck up, I'll begin. You, you have your mask upside down. No, 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 that, that's a joke. You don't got to turn it around. There is no up or down with the mask, you chubby-fingered moron. Okay, as you all know, uh, this has been a, uh, how could I say it, uh, a very, very trying season so far for so many reasons. Putting the injuries aside us and not really knowing if we're playing or not every day is hard. It makes it difficult for an athlete to prepare. It's like going to a whorehouse with your undercarriage all showered and powdered without Viagra and not knowing if the lap dagger is going to get chubby. Gabish? Yeah, lap dagger. Just print it. Yeah. Two Gs. Yeah. That said, we are doing the best we can. We are sitting at 20 and 14, and we snuck right back into the second wild composition. While I am very pleased with about that, I am not happy with the way a lot of my guys have been playing. Um, Voigt has been an offensive force so far. He's batting over 300. He's a league leader in home runs and ribbies. Uh, but he also strikes out every third at bat. That's a lot like dropping a giant deuce two days in a row and then getting constipated on the third day. Uh, but if Voigt can keep crapping out huge steamers two out of every three days, I'm not going to run out and get him Metamucil. Uh, LeMayu is back, and uh, he's just a beast. There are no words to describe that guy. He's uh, batting over 400 right now. I mean, that, that says it all. Anyone else who was playing well offensively is hurt now, which makes our record even more impressive. But we have a shitload of guys who are just sucking up the joint. Higashioka, Gardner, Ford, and Wade, all hitting under 200. That is unacceptable. Helen Keller played baseball, and even she hit 248. So I think it's safe to say that these four guys are hitting worse than an elderly blind woman. Andujar is a fucking mess. We have no idea what happened to this guy. One year, he's an all-star. The next year, he couldn't catch crabs in a Dodge City whorehouse. Then there's Sanchez. Or who I like to call Babe Ruth, except change Babe to Fat and Ruth to S. The Bombino. He strikes out half the time now. Half the fucking time. Do you know who strikes out half the time? Put your hand down, you fucking idiot. It's a rhetorical question. Nobody strikes out half the time. Over on the pitching side, I'm pretty sure we could not have found another pitcher with the 3.91 ERA to spend 314 fucking million dollars on. Spending money like that on coal is like spending a few grand to eat lunch at McDonald's. You spend 300 million on Kofax, Siva, Ford, and Gibson in their dead primes. Do you realize what we could have done with 300 million? Do you realize how many other positions we could have shored up for 300 million? Ah, what's the fucking sense? Who am I? The fuck do I know, right? Let's just see if Cole was worth it at the end of his contract. Britain has been pretty solid. Tanaka is Tanaka. Holder is solid. Lasagna and Green are solid too. Everyone else is a little dicey. You don't know if you're, you're going to get Sandy or Cindy Colfax on the mound this year. Okay. Okay. Now, let me say two things about my bookie. One, they will match any deposit dollar for dollar up to 1000 bucks. Okay? Two, they have a new football thing with a $100 entrance fee. The winner walks at $125,000, and there are weekly winners for $12,500, and the top 230 places win money. I'm going to enter it. How can you not throw $100 into the pot with a chance to win so much in so many ways? Want to learn more? Go to mybookie.com. Want to keep betting with your neighborhood bookie? Then I hope you come up with the scratch when you lose because they will find you. My bookie has never broken a kneecap. As far as I know. Okay. Any questions that you guys have? This is a day. Are you 
That's the question you waited to ask? You can have my answer now if you like. My offer is this. Nothing. Not even the fee for the gaming license, which I appreciate if you would put up personally. Any other questions? Yeah, you. I'm an educated man, but I'm afraid I can't speak intelligently about the travel habits of Private Santiago. Okay. I hope that was helpful and that you all got what you need for your stories. Uh, I need to go be with my team. Will we play? I don't know. Every day is an adventure with this pandemic going on. We got the Rays, the Mets, the glory holes. We're doing the best we can, trying to keep up with the endless schedule changes. I try, I try to keep my team tough and ruthless. You all stay tough and toothless. Please feel free to go next door, grab some chow from the buffet. I'll either see you down on the field or I won't see you down on the field. You see how that works? Go, my baby bombers. No, it's not my bookie. That's the name of it, my bookie. It's not my personal bookie. I'll bet you're a fucking idiot.